today I'm in Victoria, British Columbia at the BC Parliament building, the BC Legislature. And uh, it's such a beautiful day today, uh, lots of tourists around. But today's not the reason because of why we're here because of tourism. We're actually here uh, for a presentation uh, that uh, Jeff is actually uh, participating in. Now I'll let uh, Jeff go ahead and explain uh, what's going on here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I was in the uh, Select Standing Committee on Financial Services and Government uh, Support uh, talking about the need for poverty level, no less than poverty level, uh, financial support for disabled people in, disabil in uh, BC. So this was for the budget 2024 consultations. They gave me five minutes to present, three issues to present. I uh, presented about the need to have no less than poverty level financial support. I presented about the need to be autonomous and have no partner clawbacks or partner restrictions based on fiscal uh, uh, ability. And number three, I talked about clawbacks, the need to cut all the clawbacks uh, like CPPD or life insurance or what have you on top of disability. So those are the three main um, uh, issues that I focused on today. Yeah, it was a wonderful presentation, by the way, Jeff. Um, Thank you. Well done. Um, you know, and I, I saw a lot of acknowledgement going on by um, a lot of the participants that were there, yeah. They're nodding their heads, agreeing that yeah. Yeah, these these clawbacks and legislated poverty and uh, you know marriage equality. I mean, or being with a partner and saying no, only one income. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, the cost of living is high. I mean, not even just the cost of living, but people's autonomy, their their choice of being able to collaborate with each other and not being penalized, right? by a system that's set up that way. If you're a person with disability living in BC the ministry, and you're single, the ministry sees you as a person and you get uh, financial support. If you're in a relationship, married, uh, what have you, you're no longer seen as a person or human being, you're seen as a financial burden. And you are now, uh, they give you over to your partner to take care of you financially. So that's not, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, there was another part that stood out too in the presentation, which I think we've really echoed um, a lot about the financial supports of uh, the rates are well below, well yeah. below the poverty level. I mean, and the poverty level of Canada is $2,200 as of 2021. That was 2021, two years ago. We're basing this on LECO, low, low income cutoff table. Uh, based on 2021, it was 2202 a month is the poverty level. And we're getting 1410 a month yeah. or less, 1358 plus a bus pass a month yeah. uh, as a person with disability and disability income support. So that's well below the poverty level. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go without a bus pass, well, I mean, great. I mean, maybe buy some more vegetables or something, but now you've got no transportation. Exactly. So, you know, so what I want to see too is I want to see them bring back that bus pass. I mean, there was a bus pass that was in place for decades exactly. and then poof it was gone like a it was like a pink unicorn now you see it poof now you now you don't right next week we're meeting with Sheila Malcolmson the minister uh, it's a minister of social development and poverty reduction on Monday at 1 45 p.m. we got 30 minutes uh, Brent Sonia and myself mm -hmm. to sit down with her and actually make our case really hurt we need to get some hope back to uh, to persons with disability in BC living in government imposed poverty. We need some hope that one of these days we're going to not be living in poverty. Absolutely. I mean, people should have enough on their monthly check to basically pay for their rent, to basically pay for the cost of living, to basically be able to go to any community that they want to go to, to put the money back into the community to help small businesses. Maybe go and visit a friend or a family. I mean, Talk, yeah. We talked about the fact that we're constantly in a state of survival as yeah. a person with disability. When do we get a chance to be in a state of participation in community? When do we get that chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thanks everyone and uh, just uh, tune in for any updating uh, developments that are going to be coming forward and we'll keep everybody posted on uh, our meeting with uh, uh, Ms. Malcolmson uh, next, next week. Thank you. Thank you.